Hey, it's Jason. I am uh, in a car right now, which is a self-driving car, but it actually has the capability to be taken over by someone driving it remotely. And that's what's going to happen. So the actual controller uh, for this car is not going to be the individual driving, uh, but it's actually going to be someone else who is at a different location and actually has the ability to control the car. It's pretty... Uh, pretty interesting I think so you can take a look and see so this is actually the guy who's going to be driving and he has a uh, three monitor display and uh, his own steering wheel and do you want to explain a little bit about yes. uh, what he can do yes so this is a value drive for your remote vehicle so we are trying to demonstrate our daily operation here so there are many situations where our level 3 level 4 or all autonomous vehicles can fail. So at that time, if there is no driver in the car, who's gonna take care of the vehicle? So now, this is the fallback case. We always have someone, somewhere, who can take care of the, who can take control. So you are always safe. And we have some situations like road constructions, all these situations, wherever the autonomous vehicles cannot work, we have this fallback case. You can also use this for applications like valet parking, shuttle services, food deliveries, everything. So if you go to a restaurant, you can just leave your car yes. at the curb and then someone else can kind of take over and yes. park it for you. Exactly. Or if, you know, God forbid you're having a heart attack yes. and take over, or a new driver. Exactly. You know, a 16-year-old driver who gets nervous, It's there's road construction or the weather yeah. has changed mm -hmm. and the uh, safety... Yes. Is a, is a concern someone else can control. We all know how much time we spend for a parking, right? Exactly. So that can be avoided. That's great. And this car is equipped with all value sensors, all value production sensors, cameras, lidars, radars, and ultrasonics. We use our own systems. These are all production sensors. So there's additional layer of safety. So you're always safe. So yeah, if you are ready, we can show the demonstrations. All right. So uh, here we go. I'm sitting. Uh, in the passenger seat and uh, you're not going to be driving, correct? Yes. Okay, hands off. Yes. All right, let's see. So, I will tell you operator is starting the demo now. So we can see him driving like he's playing a video game here. <laughs> That's him. And we have a stop sign. So he, he sees the stop sign and he's turning. And one thing that he told me uh, before we did this, which I thought was an interesting application, is if this were a fully driverless autonomous vehicle yeah. and the autonomous vehicle didn't know what to do, for yeah. example, we're coming up to some road work ahead um, and the car is going to have to cross a double yellow, which an autonomous vehicle might know not to do, um, the autonomous vehicle could actually tell the, tell the operator to take, the operator to take over. And then the teleoperator will control the vehicle for you. Yeah, oh my god, we have a headless toddler standing in the road here. And so let's see what he does. Obviously he can see it. And we're about to hit the toddler. Oh, so we uh, actually we scared uh, the toddler. <laughs> <laughs> so this is mainly to focus on our additional layer of safety. So the teleoperator cannot see this toddler. And even I cannot see from this situation. So when nobody is in control, the car can take control on its own. This is what we call emergency braking. So the car stopped using our value sensors. So we always have our additional security. That was a close call with the toddler. So. <laughs> yeah. But he was able to see what we yes. couldn't see. So yes. maybe he, he saw the I mean, the not feet. he. The car. The car, the car saw, saw it. Yeah. yeah. He was actually accelerating at that time. Yeah. But the car said, no, there is an object. So we have to stop. Yeah, I thought the object was doomed. <laughs> So we're coming back around the curb. You can see his feet aren't doing anything, but we are in motion and the teleoperator is controlling it. Road work here. And as we come around the curb here, we're gonna actually see the teleoperator. His name is Sevi, is that right? CV. Yeah. CV. So we'll take a look at CV who's sitting there playing this video game with the Lenovo monitors. Yes. So he's actually controlling this car and he sees more than we see. So he's stopping here. So we have 360 perception using value sensors. 
So we have eight cameras, ultrasonic sensors, four radars, six lidars. We call them Scala in Valio. So it's all you're always using these sensors. So it can see all the blind spots. So at any time, even if the teleoperator, this is, everything is happening through cloud. And we're having a conversation even though yes. you're driving the car, yes, so to speak. Exactly. So. so I mean, we could be playing checkers. Yes, right now. exactly. Uh, so in all the cases, if the control is not good, you always have additional safety. And the teleoperator can be anywhere. He can be in California. He can be in Asia. He can be anywhere because as long as you have a good network, you have a good control. And the it all works over LTE. Yes, right now LTE. Our plan is to go to 5G, which will have better speed. Well, this is great. Thank you so much. So we are stopping the vehicle now. Okay, we have another stop sign here. <laughs> so that's yeah. the end. So I'm ending the session now. So ending the ride. I'm giving a rating to my teleoperator. Ah, CV did a good job. Yes, and now I have the control. So now you can drive. Yes. Away. So now you can see he's actually controlling the vehicle. Do you always give him a good rating there? <laughs> when he does I a good job. I suppose if he hits the toddler, <laughs> the headless toddler, it's yeah. not so good. Yeah. All right, well, thank you very much again. Thank you. And uh, there's our toddler. <laughs> I'll give a thumbs up uh, to our operator over there. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you guys so much. This was great. Thank you.